Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to Isla Napoli on a Friday and we are already in November holy shit the time is flying by like shit this is incredible um, I am really wondering where the time you know got has gone in the last couple of weeks um, it is really it's really weird so <laughs> I'm sitting here I, I started this um, Isla Napoli thing I guess when did I start this if like a month or a month and a half ago. Um, we are already in episode number 11, if I'm not completely wrong. Um, so yeah, it is really weird. But anyways, um, this footage you can uh, see right now is uh, straight from the stream on Monday. And for those of you who have been in the stream on Monday on Twitch, um, I really want to say thank you again, because this was maybe the most enjoyable stream I had so far. It is um, really, it was such a cool, chilled stream. Um, you guys have been amazing in the chat. It was really, really, f you know, it was so cozy. It was it was really enjoyable. Um, we talked about so many different things. Um, it was really, you, you could give me really nice input um, on, on what to build and, and what not to do and stuff like that. Really discussing um, discussions going on about the size of the building and all these things. So I, I have to say that this was really one of the best things I've, I've done in, in a while. Um, as, you, as you know, I've, I've been struggling with a lot with my YouTube channel um, before I went on holidays and uh, it is getting a little bit back into the old times unfortunately um, and this is really it is all down to the fact that I um, I have to be very active and, and very engaging uh, to make sure that you guys all are um, as active as you've been in the past weeks which which is which is really hard to do for me because I'm I'm not having that much time on my hands uh, or at my hands to to do all this kind of stuff and um, I really would love to put even more time into YouTube but there is simply no way I can do this um, and you know this is why the stream especially was so cool because streaming is live and streaming means that I can really be in a discussion with you while playing the game so it is really using the time in the most effective and efficient way uh, possible and I have to admit that this is something I would really really love to go more into I, I told you this a few times uh, I also told you why it isn't possible because of our situation living in a house which is basically built out of uh, paper I guess <laughs> there's no other way I can explain why you know the kind of nice noise reduction systems here are not working at all um, like having full concrete walls in between rooms should normally do a little bit of uh, uh, you know denoising or whatsoever but it simply doesn't do anything so it's it's really unfortunate uh, really nothing um, enjoyable if if anyone is doing something in here so if my wife is going to, to phone with someone I can basically listen to each and every single word even though she's two rooms away and all doors are shut so it's yeah it's very unfortunate but I, I hope that I can go more into this as soon as we found uh, find a new home again we've been we've been um, going on on two two different uh, appointments on another flat but those two were you know the flats were pretty okay they were pretty nice actually I would have taken them but the location were, is just you know it was just very bad so in terms of traffic and in terms of uh, connectivity with all the um, public transportations and stuff it, it wasn't that nice and um, my regular way to the work in the mornings um, would go from about 10 minutes to like an hour and that means like nearly one and a half hours more time on the road each and every day is uh, you know is also one and a half hours less time to do YouTube for example um, and uh, time to spend with my wife time to spend with uh, doing sports and all these kind of stuff is it's you know it's it's pretty much annoying um, that you really have to care about stuff like that but it is at the moment it's really a struggle um, to do all this kind of stuff because I really or we really want to have something new um, we really want to move but it's in, in Germany at the moment it's it's kind of a thing um, that seems to be impossible <laughs> if I'm completely honest with you but you know we are just keeping our eyes open in hope for the best but yeah now enough of, of this personal talk about my my things uh, which maybe do interest you or maybe don't but I uh, don't want to bother you any longer with this now we talk about what is going on in the footage and it is um, the build of my 
kind of abandoned cargo area and uh, the story behind this is pretty much as you have suggested that this is a very old cargo terminal that has been used for most of the times for this park um, to deliver or just kind of to to handle the arriving deliveries from uh, coasters flat rides and all these kind of stuff this is also why a little bit of um, our old coaster tracks are still lying around the harbor area and this building especially is the old cargo building and uh, it is all um, done very industrial looking, very simple and as I've explained in one of the first episodes, um, these kind of harbors around Hawaii don't really look like too Hawaiian, they really look like every harbor around the world, like very basic, very industrial, very... Um, yeah, not really ugly. It is kind of an industrial chic, I could call it. So it's 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 not really. Uh, I don't think that this is ugly. I I do think it has a certain beauty to it. But it, it's just me. I, I kind of adore these kind of industrial areas, and I do adore these kind of little harbors. And so I I do have to say as well, this is kind of the one of the most um, complained things in in the comments. But um, I I don't really find this harbor area to be um, not welcoming at all. I, I think it, it has some... It is really weird to talk about this this way, but I think it has something, has a really charming appeal to it when you arrive in this kind of harbor thing and in the end you, you really want to go into the theme park rather than looking at a beautiful harbor and um, I, I really hope that this is going to um, work out the way I, I want it to work out in the end. So a really realistic looking harbor and then behind this harbor, so as soon as you pass it, as soon as you go into the park, you have this nice Hawaiian looking um, theme park and you don't really care about the harbor that much any longer, um, but it still is there and you know, this this island hasn't been a theme park forever. It, it has been a normal um, island before where, you know, a little bit of farming has has been done a little bit of uh, you know people living there and and using the environment to kind of uh, use it to the max um, to to kind of maybe have some animals on, on on there to have kind of a few cows or pigs or whatsoever to provide the nearby islands with some food or uh, kind of at least some scientists um, that have been living here to explore the island um, and I, I do want to build also a science center um, somewhat on on top of the mountains that there was also a suggestion in one of the uh, latest episodes which I really loved uh, I really thought this would be a very nice idea um, to have this kind of science um, thing also on this island but yeah as I said uh, it hasn't been a uh, theme park all the way along so this is also why things changed over time and uh, since the, the park at the beginning didn't have a big budget it, it really meant that you needed to use the harbor the way it is and it basically has been a normal harbor so there you go it's it's basically the reason behind um, yeah, it's the reason for making it look like a simple harbor rather than a fancy building. And I think also we have to we have to finally understand that this realism approach on on Planet Coaster means we we can't really go into that crazy theming as you are used uh, from me and and used to I guess on my channel and I am used to as well. So it it is really a challenge, but it's such a fun challenge to make it stunning looking with normal things and, and not go too crazy with all the details and stuff. So the detail in this sense is making it simple yet realistic looking. And this is a really strong detail to be honest. Like details make the design. And in this certain approach, the detail is to not put too many elements in and to make it simple like an effective design, an efficient design, how it has been used back then and kind of mix it with some new elements that, that kind of provide the theme park look to, to it. I it is, it is really a big challenge and I hope we can get along with it. But yeah, uh, the last thing we need to talk about is this little disabled um, people elevator where you can put the wheelchair on and, and put the people on. It's basically at the end of the um, queue and next to the exit so that we can really also help disabled people go on the coaster. And yeah, that's what I really liked um, 
as a suggestion and so I already made this but you will see that a little bit better in the real time part which will be there in just a few seconds so enjoy the last seconds of this uh, uh, little elevator build but um, yeah see each other in the real time park, uh, part in a second bye Alright, you know, today it, it wasn't that much done in the time lapse, which is pretty much down to the fact that we um, yeah, did all this in the stream, which was a really, really, really enjoyable stream, as I already said. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you a little bit in detail what we have done. So, uh, it, as I said, it, it doesn't really look too detailed at the moment. Um, really was struggling with the path layout and all this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, what I really found... Um, super cool was how this whole thing turned out because it has to be an old abandoned um, kind of cargo hall what I've already explained and I especially like the exit area over here where we have the kind of disabled little elevator thing obviously we need to put a little bit more uh, foliage around to make this really look nice um, and also do some fencing over here make this area a little bit more nice looking so yeah the story behind as I already told is uh, kind of that this area changed into um, yeah this coaster station building whatever and was kind of implemented into the park area later um, and has been um, kind of separated from the park beforehand so that the, kind of this whole area over here is more or less new to the park so I, I could really imagine that if you would draw a fence it would have been over here so we can we can basically just quickly do this by um, kind of painting the terrain because I think Let's do this a bit more strong and then so like you know that kind of a fence had been put down over here so that we kind of see this area um, has been more or less an area where uh, yeah the, the whole cargo thing was going on and there was nothing too much uh, going on in terms of theme park ish area so you know we could also put some old um, foundations in the bottom uh, or in the ground so that it really looks like there has been a fence which then has uh, dis disabled or dismantled so that finally you could add this area to the park but yeah as I said um, not too much has happened in this episode but now um, guys I really really need to get your feedback because we have you know built this area over here and now I really need to know what do we put in here so I wanted to continue with this area um, by putting also a flat right in here before we then go to the entrance which we do over here but I wanted to finish like, like what I will do obviously um, after this episode is I'm gonna finish this building off screen which hopefully goes a lot quicker than um, in the stream uh, and then I'm also going into making this area over here kind of finished so we do have a little bit of a gate over here because this is basically backstage area I don't want to make an entrance over here um, I really want to make the entrance only go in here so that you really have to go the the way to the left hand side to make the the guest flow a bit more um, uh, a bit better because if we would have the entrance here they would kind of you know go into a crowd over here already I don't want to I, I just want them to go in the middle over here as well so that we could put down some more buildings over here to make this like a very tiny um, main street area if if at all um, and yeah we do have another area over here which we can do kind of nicely though but yeah I really want to have this one as a flat ride and the story behind this flat ride which is my question now to you guys which kind of flat ride do you see here what's the story behind this one um, I would suggest this could be also a little bit of a newer flat ride it doesn't have to be an older one because this area is as I said kind of the new area um, what I would think is that this area which is next to the little line I draw here potentially is more or less planter or nature so we do only have this little footprint in here where the, the flat ride could sit but we can definitely use this for queue or whatever reasons um, so yeah please uh, give me some suggestions in the chat below or in the, in the um, comment section below uh, what kind of flat ride do you see here and what's the story behind this flat ride that would be super cool and yeah leave me some feedback what you think of the disabled um, little elevator over here and the overall layout for the queue um, 
that's everything I can say right now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little episode. We are making some more progress right now and hopefully on Sunday this area will be looking a lot more finished. And yeah, if you come up with some suggestions about the flat ride, I'm gonna put this down already so that we can go on with that. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy your Friday and your upcoming weekend. And I hope to see you in the next episode as well. And make sure to tune in for tomorrow. There will be a little bit of a cities update. I know not all of you like to watch cities, but um, maybe you do want to watch in the future because I am planning maybe to start something new and I would really need your feedback on that. So if you have some interest to kind of create a new series with me or whatever, uh, make sure to tune in there and give me some feedback as well. But yeah, until then, um, have a good time and see you. Bye bye. Would you be hiding out wherever we may find?